I'm going to add data from ArcGIS Online. And I can either search for USA zip code boundaries, or often it is listed on the opening page of ArcGIS Online. Once you find the zip code boundaries, click Add. It may take a while to download the zip code boundary file, but once you've downloaded this one time, it's stored on your computer. After it's downloaded, it will automatically be added to your map. This file is for the entire U.S., so it can take a while to draw. You may want to zoom to the extent of your student locations. To create a smaller subset of zip codes to work with, I'm going to select only those zip codes that contain students. You can also create subsets by selecting the zip codes with a certain radius or a particular state. I'll do a simple select by location. To find those zip codes that can completely contain student locations, the student locations are geocoded as the centroid of each zip code. Now I can export the zip codes that I want to work with and store the exported file in my geodatabase for continuity. Now that I have my zip codes in a separate feature class, I'm going to summarize the number of students in each zip code and join the summary table to the zip code feature class. Here, I've cleared my selected features and turned off the USA zip code boundaries layer. Click on the Source View button on the table of contents. Go to your original student data table and open it. I'm going to right-click the zip code field, since that's what I want a summary of, and choose Summarize. Now my summary table is added to ArcMap, and I can open it. and I can see that there is a count for each zip code. I close my summary table. Now I'm going to join the summary table to my polygon zip code layer. Right-click the layer, go to Join and Relate, and Join. In this dialog, we need to specify on what fields this feature class and the summary table can be joined. We're going to join on zip code, so we'll select zip. Then we need to specify what table we will be joining. This will be your summary table that you just created. And then we need to specify which field in the summary table contains the zip codes. I'm going to go ahead and create an index when prompted. Now my data should be joined. I won't see any change in ArcMap, but if I open the attribute table for student zip codes, I can now scroll through and see all the data that has been appended to the table for this feature class. It's important to note that if I want this change to be permanent, so I can open it in other ArcMap documents, I will need to export this layer as a new feature class. Joins are only saved in the map document and are not permanent. This will do for display purposes, so I'm not going to export the data here. I'm going to close the attribute table. Now I can symbolize the student zip codes based on the number of students. I right-click and go to Layer Properties. Select the Symbology tab and choose Quantities. Under Value, I select the Count field. I'm going to use the default symbology and breaks, but obviously you could use a wide variety of methods to display your data here.
Now I can add the other zip codes back in for reference, as well as any other map layers that I may want to see. One drawback to this approach of displaying the data is that although we can easily see the number of students per zip code, we can no longer see those students' majors, terms of graduation, or any other data pertaining to individual students. There is another way we can relate the student data to the zip code polygons that will allow us to access this information for multiple students at a time. By using relationship classes within the GeoDatabase, we can select a zip code and easily see all the related students at the same time by viewing their attribute tables. Using a relationship class is also permanent and can be added to other ArcMap documents. So we'll go through this process next.